Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a little tutorial. Uh, it's going to be a little different than what I usually do. When I go out, usually just to the grocery store, um, I'm wearing a mask on half my face, so I don't really see the point of getting makeup all over my mask, and also what's the point of wearing makeup if you're just going to cover it up. Um, but what I have been doing the last couple of weeks, just because I miss wearing makeup so much, um, I've been wearing it on the top half of my face, and kind of like matching it with my mask or just trying to make just trying to have fun with it because you got to wear a mask might as well have fun with it um so anyway that's today's tutorial a little makeup look that'll look cute with your face mask so anyway if you're interested in seeing how I got this look please keep watching okay so I put sunscreen on and did my skincare of course so we're gonna get started with the Face makeup. I'm going to use my Ilia Skin Tint, which I did a review on last week if you want to know more about it. Um, usually I use a couple drops. I'm just going to use one drop today though because I'm only putting it on like the top half of my face. And then just like a little bit down here. I just really don't want to get makeup on my masks and also it just it seems pointless to have makeup down here if I'm going to be wearing a mask the whole time. I have a few little healing spots on my forehead so I'll put a little Juice Beauty concealer. I found this to be a really good addition to the Ilya skin tint. It really it really gives me a little bit extra coverage while keeping the finish looking very, very natural and glowy. Next up is eyebrows. I'm gonna do what I normally do. I'm gonna go in with my eye coal by Fat in the Moon and then this just this little elf eyebrow brush. I'm just gonna draw them in and then I'm gonna put some clear brow gel on top of them. Okay, and on to the eyes. <laughs> I'm pretty much done at this point. This is the last step. Um, I am going to be using two of the Glossier Sky Washes. Uh, since these are so quick and easy to use, I've been having a lot of fun with them. I've been using them a lot. Um, so much so that I actually bought another color, uh, which is Lawn. Because I've just been enjoying doing my eye makeup a lot more recently. Because it's really the only makeup you can see. <laughs> um, so I've been trying... Uh, to work with more bright colors just to have some more fun, honestly. I did a review on these uh, a while back when they first came out and I talked about how they really work best when there's nothing on your eyelids. They're a little finicky in that way, but as long as you have clean eyelids, they work just fine. And then on my top lid, what does this guy call it? Valley. It's just this really pretty, like, faded but still kind of bright peachy color. Oh, I love it. And usually I like to put on two layers of this color, um, but I'm going to wait and let it dry in between layers because it works better that way. While I let that dry, I'm going to put on the other color on the bottom. I am going to do a second layer though of that peach. And I'm going in with Lawn, which is their bright green one. Definitely have seen this color the most in reviews and tutorials because everyone's just so intrigued by it. I don't do this a lot under my eye, but I thought it would be fun today. So let's see how it turns out. I'm gonna put on a second layer of the orange because right now the bottom just looks way too pigmented for the top. Okay, hey, now it's mascara time. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes real quick and I'm gonna put on the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. And I really like this mascara. I don't like the brush though. It's just a little too thick. Um, I find it kind of makes my eyelashes clumpy so I don't know. It was the Sephora birthday gift so I'm not gonna like return it or anything. I don't even know if you can. I'm just gonna use it. I just go in with my Glossier mascara, which honestly is pretty dried out, but I really like the brush, so I just use the brush as basically a lash comb. <laughs> and then I move some of the product on my bottom lashes. This is the finished look, basically. Um, it feels weird to have makeup only on part of my face. 
I was doing a normal tutorial, I would put some blush and bronzer on. Um, you're obviously, you can put like a little bronzer on your forehead if you're wanting to add to it, but that just is a little too much for me, I think. All right, guys, so that is the end of my tutorial. It's pretty simple, so simple. It felt a little silly filming it. I have been enjoying picking out fun masks like this one. Um, fun different colors. I bought one of the packs. I know Bagu put out some masks. Um, just picking out masks that are cute that'll go well with my outfits because why not? Like I said before, you gotta wear a mask anyway, so you might as well have a little bit of fun with it. I will link this mask down below if you're interested in it. Um, I think the colors, the black and white's out, but there's another color with this print. Um, I actually, the person I bought it from, uh, they have matching scrunchies. I don't know if you can see that, but I bought a matching scrunchie as well. Just, again, having some fun with it. So anyway, I'll link this down below if you're interested. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week.